So, obviously this is a 33rd issue of Funtime Comics. Just awkwardly. Um, so, um, for the last few years, the um, anthology out of Christchurch has been an annual. And obviously leading up to our annual for 2020 was, well, hey, look, we got the opportunity to do something a bit unique and actually feature work inspired from the pandemic. Um, and as we all know, during those months of lockdown, there were lots of comments being posted online on, on Facebook. No sound. Try headphones, bud. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to log out. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, carry on, Jason. Yeah, yeah. So um, once we made the decision to feature all pandemic related content, um, it was just a matter of reaching out to the community. Uh, it was also some works I had seen during the year, actually reaching out to those creators. Uh, specifically and asking if we could feature their work in the anthology um and then we of course had some original stuff created as well so i'll just grab it again you know you're good uh, i'm just being uh yeah so you know in terms of content so if those who don't know fun time it's um a comic anthology that's been running from christchurch new zealand for 30 years started by a comic club at university of canterbury but um, it's continued in the format of monthly workshops and they've just been running consistently for that time so that's always kept the community alive and the anthology of course is just the byproduct of that sort of community um yeah so in here there's works from various people around new zealand the fun time crew from christchurch we've got a couple of guests here there's issue 27 we got some guest content in here from Costa Rica, uh, from Scotland. So very eclectic, as you'd expect with an anthology. Um, a couple of highlights, for example, have to be. So we have a section here featuring the Spanish lady. So the Spanish lady is by um, an illustrator artist named Arthur Whelan, based in. Auckland, he had created a 176 page graphic novel on the Spanish influenza. Um, and when I reached out to him to see if he had anything to put in that issue, he's like, Sorry, I don't have anything related, but I do this graphic novel. Um, Still there now. So, sound. Mark. Yeah, so I can hear we've got an article. Now, <laughs> That's good, Mark. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we actually, we actually interviewed Ma, um, Arthur about the Spanish lady, and then where there's a, there's a sample of about ten pages <laughs> of his artwork. So obviously that's not COVID related, but it was just you know very topical thing about yeah. the last global pandemic. Nice. Um, the cover itself is by Richard. Richard, oh. Richard Klingen, who's a GP based here in Canterbury, originally from yep. Northern Ireland. Um, he created a comic anthology called Jenny and the Cities, which is all about um, combating, uh, what do we call it, um, the anti-vaxxer movement and trying to <laughs> shed light onto why vaccinations are important. Yeah. So he's, he's, told, he's told a story through um just kind of cool allegory about a wee elf and to a village who are plagued by these monsters represent measles mumps rubella. so um richard's actually published that as his own title and mm. being part of the fun time group we we're like hey we'd love to feature that in here he ended up providing the cover artwork so you know, there's a whole lot of like, sort of like um, whether it's COVID, whether it's measles, mumps, rubella, Spanish flu, just related content. Um, so everyone's got a piece in here as well. Do you want to talk about your piece, Arun? Oh yeah. So 
I actually my one was just text. This thing with um, just speech bubbles. So two speech bubbles debating, and when I was like, I'm stuck. I'll do something different. So I, it's dialogue between family with no pictures, like an uh, elderly lady, probably in her fifties, and her neighbours, no pictures. She's on phone calls. Yeah, there's. I think there was about twenty four or done. I was doing one a day, but. The thing about that was, I reflect back when I was a kid with party lines and like growing up in Morawa and Kaikui and just that whole environment where people don't actually understand what it was like to be on the phone and have people listening into your phone calls, stuff like that. Just trying to write as a, um, you know, as a, as a, um, gosh, as a 50 year old, 60 year old woman, you know, looking at the world. And seeing what her life was, and then looking at how kids are dealing with things, how her neighbors are dealing with things, how her son's over in Taiwan now stuck over in a, in a hotel, and due to you know having to do that two week virus uh, check thing. But yeah, that was, I, I wanted to be part of pandemic. I mean, sometimes comics have a little piece in forever, forever. Uh, so to be asked was really cool. So I was really happy about that. I think this because one of the things I love about sometimes. They've done a lot of awesome things in trying to uh, promote New Zealand comics, as NZCC has done, and I think that's an awesome thing about um, about uh, about this. So I think um, that's my that's my blurb on that. Um, 